over player four as we start loser semifinals. Uh, yeah, and it's looking like top four. We're actually going to get what we, what we originally asked for right here. I'm going to swap out for player four right now. Yeah. yeah assuming uh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here you go. Uh, no, no, no time for anything else. Do it. All right. Thank you, everybody, for breaking, uh, being with us during that nice, healthy little swap oh, there. Man. As we are heading into some loser semifinals, and I've got top player Reggie re now sitting down with me. How you feeling here, Reggie? Doctor, top player Reggie. Doctor, player. Excuse, me. <laughs> excuse me. I got to get the full title. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm actually doing great. Um, I just lost Amarillo. That's carpool kill right there. Hell. So, you know, maybe I should be rooting for them. But let's go, Delta Force. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really excited to see the Delta Force Sheik, uh, of all things. I know a little, little late to, uh, to bring it up, but I'm really glad that Delta Force is actually starting to see this character as a certifiable pocket. He plays Sheik a lot, just has very little faith in Sheik as a bracket character. But when it comes to certain matchups and how he played against uh, Tejuice a little earlier, Sheik's enhanced mobility may be the answer given how Link's tension on coverage and anti-air kind of got turned on its head and turned against it. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. I, like, fun little fact, from what I remember about Delta Force, they used to play all three of the Triforce characters, so yeah. there is a pocket cannon for those wondering. That's rad. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that, uh, the real Seabass energy coming out here. Maybe oh. maybe not against Bayonetta, though, and one as... Seabass, my favorite top player. True, honestly. Uh, I'm actually <laughs> scared, scared to play Seabass. Every time. <laughs> At, ask him how many wins he's got on Mars on Wi-Fi. It's terrifying. <laughs> Yo, I, I finally beat Seabass for the first time, and I popped off. <laughs> Did it pop off against Jackal? Seabass? Always. But it, you know the meme where you're wearing, like, the suit? Yeah. Like, <laughs> the suit versus, like, the casual outfit? That's me. Yeah. Beating, uh, beating a, whatever it is, A-tier player yeah. versus beating a, uh, <laughs> beating a local Ganon. It's terrifying. Yeah. Just, but we got... A stellar, so, oh, oh, hello. Okay. I was going to say, we don't got a lot of hard-hitting moves here, but Delta Force certainly looking for one of Sheik's uh, more infamous in that bouncing fish with such a deep, deep edge guard. Yeah, and that was really cool. I actually thought Delta Force got the hit right there, but it was the reversal. Lucky for Amarillo's that the bouncing fish had just ended. And, okay, yeah. Not, no dice yet. Didn't get the full hits of the up air to do enough damage, perhaps, to close out the stock. Yeah. It, now, maybe you might know more than me, because you might see the Delta Force Sheik a bit more often. Does Delta Force actually switch up the DI? Because I know that is a thing from Smash 4, and it is still prevalent in this game, where you can F-Tilt and then um, roar up air, and it will send up the other way, just messing up the DI for most players. I haven't seen him do it, at least since the Sheik has been uh, coming back as of yeah. late, instead focusing a lot more on like bouncing fish conversions and edge guards rather than the uh, the up tilt and the up yeah. air follow up. But hey, you gotta start you gotta start yeah. adding those layers somehow. Yeah. There's a lot of good blueprints here for Sheiks in uh, in Jersey with WebJP and uh, yeah. even players like Nathaniel doing really, really well. Yeah, Nathaniel, Web, both broken players on their own right. But Amaryllis, Saying, don't sleep on me. One of the other things I guess you have to learn as Sheik is uh, dash attack kill percents on all your different weights. That's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you just get into these funny little situations where you uh, explode. You explode off stage because you miss your bouncing fish and or your up B or whichever it was. It definitely wasn't intended to be the burst grenade. And Amarillo takes that first game. Yeah. That just looks so depressing right there because... Yeah, you oh. see the wall cling right there. No jump That's the jump caught. And then... It's just yeah. in the player yeah. cameras. So I'm just fully oh. reeling back. That's... Yep. I wonder if he's... I would... I guess I would think the Sheik would stay. The Sheik looked very good. But the Link is also yeah. the bread and butter. I, I, yeah, I think he saw the fact that it was two stock. Other than it was, like, keeping pace for the most part. Yeah. And it was, like... That end, that end screen is like, okay, the turn. But you do have Link, the character you play 99% of the time with in brackets, so. 
the character he beat Jackal with this yeah. very bracket, and the, the the character he got fourth with last week. Like this, the Delta Force Link, after a little bit of a break, thanks to him, like finding a new job. Yeah, um, he's growing up. Yeah, he, you know, he's graduated. He's looking good, and he's this Link is looking ex still crispy. But it does mean you are a very, very good combo weight for Bayonetta, and now Amarillo gets to gets to uncork a little bit. He uncork. They did that down smash, just, just ending the stock right there. And again, Amaral is already going off. I know Amaral is ally player went upstate for school and then came back, comes back here down here periodically. But every time you see the level up from oh, yeah. those upstates, so shout outs to upstate, really good region up there with many strong players, a bunch of Steve's. So if you need Steve practice. Yeah, you no, get, that's the reason. You get a nice, healthy mix of a lot of like defense-oriented characters. There's some Robs, of, uh, not Rob, Robins up there yeah. as well. So you got plenty of awkward zoners, and Amaryllis knows how to maneuver around a bevy of projectiles, and it's showing real good right now. Uh, got second at Clip It recently as oh, yes. well. Just, you know, Amaryllis is he is no slouch of a player. Beating Pelica there, I know that's a Pelka. horrible matchup for Bale. Oh my god, he's so good. Yeah. Both Pelka and Amaryllis is. It just seems like Delta Force can get anything started. Like we'll see a bomb around. Yeah. We'll see a bunch of straight hits. The up here, the up tilt rather does close out the stock. Okay, caught in the middle of the roll, but said easy enough. Yeah, and the reset. Still good. SDI down will help you live there, but yeah. you are still at 130. This is prime up tilt into back air percent or any sort of any sort of read or finisher could be strong for Amaryllis. No backers in sight quite yet. Not able to get the right hit for the up tilt in the back air conversion off of ledge. You're just sitting and waiting and trying to make yourself as hard to hit as possible. Oh! And the bats within will do the rest of the work for I want to say big. <laughs> <laughs> um, big brain play. It's like, yo, I'm going to shoot the gun. Bats within. They won't even know. It's actually playing Bayonetta out here. Right? Just like, all right, go, I'll go into the board arts, and the bats within will keep me alive. I don't care if I get that stone trophy. We are taking, we are completing the level. <laughs> oh, this is this is a good position here from Delta Force, though. You've got a lot of damage going. The snowball from Bayonetta is going to be heavy, of course. The character does a lot of damage. Yeah. But. 46% isn't all that much, and you're almost willing to take a plenty of hits if you're Delta Force, if it means that you're out of combo percent for the uh, the latter half of this game. Yeah. So, all right. So, like, 110-ish, like, 120-ish, you, like, start being out of, like, good combo percent. I'm not sure if up tilt back here still works, but then that's only one confirm you're, like, really yeah. looking for in, like, center stage. See, ready to see Amaryllis fishing for it right there. Hunting for the bomb, but not even picking it up. I like that just clearly visible uh, like bait there from Delta Force. Very willing to say, I'm going to retreat full stage and bait you into using your excess movement by giving you a lot of space to use it. Then just find a couple of your individually strong hits, these back airs, forward airs, maybe even trying to set up for an up smash, but the, uh, the single hit witch twist. That's not it. Yeah, not the sweet spot of the back air. Uh-oh. That's the bomb recovery. Oh, almost caught it right there. Bear not going to close it out. Neutral get up. And yeah, this, this is where this Zelda sense. Force has been getting a lot of mileage. Those short hop bears, call outs, and a lot of when Amaryllis is just backing off. Okay, that Ooh. should be it right there. Yeah. Oh, I like that a lot. It's, it's really cheap. It's really, really <laughs> cheap. That seems really great. I was like, he was at 162, yeah. still able to find the fair after that. Because one of the interesting things, uh, it just by nature of there's two bayonetas yeah. in top four, like you get to very readily compare the uh, Tay Juice and Amaryllis and how they approach a lot of different matchups and a lot of similar players. Yeah. And one of the things I feel uh, that now in hindsight, Girl, uh, Girly Teen Queen was really struggling with was a lot of times they would follow up the double ABK, where you're forward ABK, forward ABK, yeah. into just like an up air or a nair. But the forward air is more consistently going to close out stocks, and Amarillo is finding more ways to confirm into it, even if it means they're cutting their combos a little bit short. Yeah, I think the forward air is not naturally true. Yeah, that's so messed up. But 
in that situation, when you're such a high percent, like we're yeah. going to see it here, I'm probably going to get the right call, that you're most likely going to DI in. So that's DI in right there, For sure. up and in, and you get the fair right there. And that is like a minute situation, but because you don't want to DI out, that situation yeah. just presents itself. Any, any a DI out there, because he, he, we could have saw on, we could have seen uh, ABK Nair, and DI yeah. out, you absolutely die yeah. there. So. Well, I don't think Nair combos at that percent, but oh, it's no, just a not. fear that you're in the blast zone. Right. 